So today I am going to discuss the last problem of uh, Kickstart Google Kickstart Round Day 2022, which is interesting integers. So we are given uh, a range from A to B. We have to figure out the count of integers uh, such that this the sum of the digits of this integer should divide the product of the digits of this integer. Okay. So let us take uh, from one to nine. All the one-digit integers should have the sum of the digits and product of the digits are same. So the sum of the digits divides the product of the digits. From 91 to 99, uh, there should not be any integers. You can check out. Let's say for 451, you can check that the product of the digits is 20 and the sum of the digits is 10. So 10 divides 20. So that is one interesting integer. Now, uh, what will be our observation? The first observation is that uh, the sum, of the maximum sum of the digits could be 9 into 12 because uh, our uh, answer is like uh, maximum value of R can be B can be 10 to the power 12. So maximum value of SOD could be 9 to 12 so this is quite a small value so we can iterate over the sum of the digits the second observation uh, we can make is that that uh, our sum of the digits so our product value flow should divide the sum of the digits so this should be like k into sum of the digits now let's say our integer is like that d1 d2 like dn now d1 d2 dn now we are dividing it by sod so the this part like uh, after dividing after dividing this the at the end this should be 1 and this should be some k okay because k into sod so this should be 1 and this should be sod now for d1 d2 to dn by sod what we can write is that first we will divide uh, both d1 and both the uh, sod by gcd of uh, by gcd of gcd of d1 comma sod we will divide both d1 and sod by gcd of d1 comma sod after that we will divide uh, d2 and sod by gcd of d2 comma sod right gcd of d2 comma sod and so on so what we are doing is that for every digit for every digit we are taking its gcd from, uh, with sum of the digits and the current digit and we are dividing the sum of the digits by the gcd that is our approach that should be our approach now we have to solve it with uh, this kind this kind of problem generally solved by digit dp so we have to solve the problem by digit dp and we are iterating over the sum of the digits so we are iterating over the sum of the digits so our recursion will have one current value which is index and the second value will be sum of the digits and the third value will be product okay now for this digit dp related problem what we do we, we find uh, this recursion will return something for the rightmost value rightmost index and uh, this recursion will return something for the leftmost index okay l minus 1 value so we will try to find out the count from uh, this interesting integer from 1 to r and we will try to figure out the count of interesting integers from 1 to l minus 1 so when we subtract this rec l minus 1 from rec uh, r we will get our desired answer so our answer will be rec of r rec of r minus rec of l minus 1 so rec of r will figure out the number of count of integers from uh, 1 to r okay now what will be our recursive step so let us figure out what would be our recursion so our recursion will contain uh, generally three parameters one is index another one is sum of the digits and another one is product of the digits so uh, the initial value of index will be zero the initial value the, the first value we pass to the index will be zero and SOD will be like we are iterating over SOD and for every i from 1 to the 9 into 12 which is 108 for 1 into 12 108 we will we'll pass this i as a parameter as SOD both and product both now uh, what will be our re recursion step so we are going to recursive index plus 1 and for every digit from 1 to 0 to 9 we will take SOD minus that digit and product will be updated as product uh, by gcd of product comma digits so for every digit from 1 to 9 we are doing that step but as we have some upper bound that we, first we are doing recursion of r that all the values uh, from 1 to r will be considered so we have to take another thing which is upper bound we can do it as a flag we, we can take it as a flag now if the flag value is 1 that means we are taking as a tight bound like uh, let's say uh, our r value is what 1926 now uh, the flag value will be 1 if our first taken digits are 19 
the flag uh, for if if the uh, first two taken digits are one nine, then our flag value will be one. And if the first two taken digits are one and eight, then our flag value will be zero. So the flag will uh, check out that if uh, the it is tight bound or not. If it is tightly bound to a right uh, rightmost index or not. So let let me explain this in more details. So uh, let's say we ha we have taken something like uh, if our flag equals to equals to one, then flag equals to equals to zero. Let's say one nine two six. We have taken flag equals to equals to zero, so one eight. So our third index could be from one to nine. So this could be one two five six seven eight nine. But if our flag value is one, if our flag equals to equals to one, then we can only take digits from zero to uh, zero to SI. So this could be, I think this could be also zero. So this could be zero, one, or two because uh, we have to take the upper bound as our current SI. So that is uh, that is where uh, why our flag is helping us. Okay. So let us check my code. I will explain every line of my code. I hope you will understand. So here uh, here is the DP step. The first value is index i. Second value is sum of the digits. Third value is product. Fourth value is flag. And fifth value, which is which I am taking, is all zeros are not. So why I am taking that? Let's say uh, our R is like, let's say our R is uh, one nine six. So now if we take the first index as zero, then we are not considering this zero as a digit because in decimal system we can't consider the like uh, the leftmost zeros, like uh, leading zeros we can't consider. So we have to neglect this. So if the value of all zero is one, that means that uh, we we have not taken any significant digits right now. So uh, let's say 196005. So these two zeros are neglected. So from um, from zero uh, from index one and two, the all zero values will be one, and at the last index, the all zero value will be zero. So all zero will figure out that th there are all zeros are not. So if the sum of the digits is less than zero, then uh, we will return zero. Okay. Now. <coughs> If uh, if the current index our current is index uh, reaches at the end, then we have to check if the sum of the digits is zero and uh, the product is one. I, I have already explained that why why the product is one because if we divide uh, the GCD by all the GCD GCD of D1 comma D1 comma pro GCD of D2 comma pro, if we divide everything from the GCD of D1 GCD of D2 like that, at the end our SOD has to be one. So, uh, our, if our is, uh, product is one and the sum of the digits is zero, then we will return one. Okay. Now, this this step is very common for this, uh, any, any digit DP. Now, if the flag value is one, then we will return from zero to s i minus zero plus one. Uh, here, I have explained why we are doing that. We have to iterate from zero to two. Okay. Uh, if j is less than s i minus zero. If j is less than s i minus zero, our flag value should be zero because uh, let's say here we have taken eight, then our flag value should be zero, and else our flag value should be one. Even now, if j equals to equals to zero, and uh, there are all other zeros, then we have to uh, all zero is one. Then th that means we have not taken any significant digit. Then the, our product value will be as as it is, and uh, otherwise our product value will be one. Else we are dividing product by GCD and product of uh, GCD of product and digit. Here we are doing the thing. If j equals to equals to zero, our all z value will be one. Or if it is if it is one, then our all z value will be one. Or zero value will be one. Else it will be zero. Here it is the same step. Here uh, our upper bound should be nine. Uh, I have already explained that. Here I am doing the same step uh, uh, because uh, flag value is zero. We, we are not doing this uh, this step. Otherwise, all the steps are uh, like copy paste, uh, and now we are storing the value of DP in answer. And now uh, let me go to the main function. What I am doing? So I am taking uh, input as L and R. First, we are figuring out uh, the value for for R for for all the sum of the digits from one to hundred and nine. I I am trying to count the number of uh, integers for R for R because we are doing this for R and pass it as a string. And we are doing the same thing for l minus one. At the end, we are subtracting the values. Of, uh, we are here adding the value for uh, r. And here uh, for l minus one, we are subtracting the value for recursion for every uh, like sum of the digits. At the end, we are returning answer. I hope you have understood my video. If you have any doubt regarding the explanation or uh, like uh, code, you can ask me in the comment section. Thank you. Please subscribe to my channel.